Hi, this is Baiju Vasudevan. Welcome back to my channel, Pi by Me. Today we are going to solve Pure Math 2 May 2020 paper. This question paper has a total of 9 questions. Question number 1, part A. Find the first 4 terms in ascending powers of x for the binomial, ex binomial expansion of 2 minus x upon 4 to the power 10. Giving each term in its simplest form, the question carries 4 marks. Okay, here, they want you to write the first 4 terms of this binomial expansion. So, you need to know the binomial expansion first. a plus b to the power n equals, this is the binomial expansion. If you have a plus b to the power n, it can be written as a to the power n plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 b to the power 2 plus etc. Your last term will be just b to the power n. This is the binomial expansion. So your a is 2, b you can take it as minus x upon 4. You can take it as minus x upon 4. So 2 minus x upon 4 to the power 10. Your n is 10, a is 2, b is the minus, take this term together with the sign, minus x upon 4. So it will be 2 to the power n plus n c 1, 2 to the power n minus 1, which is 10 minus 1, 9, and b to the power 1, plus n c 2, 2 to the power n minus 2, 10 minus 2 is 8, and b to the power 2, plus n c 3, n c 3, 8 to the power n minus 3, 10 minus 3 is 7, and b to the power 3, that's why we 4 to the power 3. That's it, we got 4 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, now we need to simplify this. If you want to find the values of this 10c1, 10c2, 10c3, use the NCR button in your calculator and type like 10c1, 10c2. You can straight away get the value of this. Now, 2 to the power 10 is 1024 plus 10c1 is 10 times 2 to the power 9 will be half of this, 512 times x upon 4. This minus minus into plus is minus, I'm going to put it as minus here. Then 10c2, 45, 45 times 2 to the power 8 is half of this, which is 256, 256 times x square upon 16, this will become positive when you square it. Then here it's going to be negative because when you cube this, it's going to be negative, so plus into minus minus, 10c3, 120 times 2 to the power 7 will be half of this, 128 times x cube upon 4 cube is 64. That's it. We simplify it further. 1, 0, 2, 4. Then you cancel by 4. I'm not sure that it can be cancelled by 4. 1, 11, 2, 4, so 8, 32, 1, 2, 8. So minus 1, 2, 8, 0, x. And here, if you cancel by 4, maybe by 4, 4 4s are 16, 6 4s are 24, 64. Again, can be cancelled. 16, 45 times 16, 720 x squared minus here 264, so minus 240 x cubed. That's it. 
So we got the four terms, first four terms of uh, this expansion in ascending powers of x. That's all. When you, you need to be very careful when you simplify here. Now part b, hence find the constant term in the series in the series expansion of 3 minus 1 upon x whole square into 2 minus x upon 4 to the power 10. The question carries 3 marks. Okay, they want you to find the constant term in this expansion. The constant term, the term independent of x, the term without x. So we, in part A, this is part B, in part A we already got the expansion, the first four terms of this expansion. So we are going to use this, so I'm going to write these four terms here. 1024 minus 1280x plus 720x squared minus 240x cubed. Now if you take a look at the first term, it's a minus b whole square. You can expand this as a square minus 2ab plus b square. That's the expansion of first one. Here we can take only the first four terms. 1024 minus 1280x plus 720x squared minus 240x cubed. So you might be wondering why we take only the four terms. You can take fifth and sixth terms and all. You will have x to the power 4 in your fifth term, x to the power 6 and all. But when you multiply, when you take the x to the power 4 and multiply here, you won't get a constant term. That's the reason I omit that I don't care about the rest of the terms. So here tidy this up a little bit, 9 minus 6 upon x plus 1 upon x squared, that's the expansion of this. And we have 1024 minus 1024 Now we need to multiply them and take only the constant term. Or, before multiplying, you can just uh, be a little bit small, just pay attention to each and every term. When you take this 9 and multiply everything, e each term will have x in it, apart from this term. When you multiply 9 by 1024, that's a constant term. So you can just take this 9 times this term. So when you pay attention to the second term, when you multiply this by this, you will have x in it. But when you multiply minus 6 upon by 6 upon x by this term, your x can be cancelled, so you will get a constant term. And if you multiply this by the rest of the terms, you will have x in it. So I'm going to omit them. Again, same goes for 1 by x squared. 1 by x squared can be multiplied with this in order to get a constant term. So you have 3 multiplication, 9 times this, minus 6 upon x times this, 1 upon x squared times this, and simplify, that is your constant term. So 9 times 1024, 9216, then minus into minus plus, your x can be cancelled 6 times 1280. 7680 plus when you multiply these two terms, your x square will be cancelled, you have 720. So this is what we do when they ask for a, term, a constant term or term, uh, the coefficient of x or coefficient of x square. You don't need to multiply everything. You always need to uh, consider the terms one by one and check which, which term can be taken up without, without multiplying everything. So in this case, you don't need to multiply all the terms by each and every term here. That's a tedious process. That's a long process. But by looking at it, you know, when you take 9 and multiply everything, the three terms will have x in it. The only constant term is this, 9 into this. Then if you take minus 6 upon x and multiply everything, you will have x here, x here, x here. But here the x will be cancelled. So that's considered as a constant term. And same for this also. So now just uh, simplify them. So it will be 1600, okay. 6, 10, 
11, 8, 14, 16, remainder 1, 8, 17. 17616. After multiplying everything, this will be your term which is independent of x, the constant term. 